Hello and welcome to this tutorial video. Today I'm going to show you how to create collections or categories for your Steam games uh, for your Steam library. And in order for us to make a new collection or category for our games library, we want to go right up here to where you see the four little square icons here next to the home button here. Click on that, it'll say uh, your collections. If you don't have any collections, you'll see a button that says create a new collection. Go ahead and click on that now. There are two different types of collections that you can make in Steam. You can create a manual collection, which is this one here, or you can create a dynamic, ever-changing collection as you add and buy new games. If they fit a certain criteria or category, will be automatically dumped into that collection. So let's go ahead and create a normal collection first. Go ahead and give your collection a name right here where it says enter a name for the collection and then just create the collection by clicking on the create collection button. Obviously there are no games in this collection. In order for there to be games here, you would need to take a game from your library over here on the left hand side and drag that into your collection. Now, obviously as you can see, I'm only looking at games that are able to to be played right now that are downloaded. If I unclick or uncheck the show only ready to play games, it's going to show me a ton of games. Uh, as a matter of fact, every game that I have in my Steam library, and you can go here and you can just drag specific games into a specific collection. And in order to get back to your collections, you just click on the four squares here in the upper left hand corner. And as you can see, here is my new collection. Now, what if we want to create a dynamic collection that changes or adds stuff as we go, as we buy new games? Go ahead and give it a name as you did the other collection. Once you've given it a name, go ahead and click on the Create Dynamic Collection button, and you're going to see a bunch of different parameters up top. So you're going to see what Steam calls tags. So if a game has a specific tag as, say, casual, it will show up here in this collection. So if I uncheck casual, there's nothing here. But if I check casual, you'll see all of the casual games in my library will show up here because it has that specific tag. And if I download and buy a new casual game that has that tag, it will show up here in my collection as well. Not only can you select pre-made tags, you can also go here to where you see store tags and enter a tag and see if that comes up as well. Also, if you're trying to find a also, if you're trying to find games that you and a specific friend have in common, you can go right here where you see friends, go to enter friend's name, and then just type in their Steam username here, and you're going to be able to see which games y'all have, and you'll be able to see which games you both have and own that you can play together by selecting your friend's name, and then maybe even going to multiplayer here and doing that. And just note that as I continue to tick off different options here as far as tags. You can see if I go to action, now it's going to be action, casual games that are multiplayer, right? So if I uncheck multiplayer, it'll include single player titles as well. So you get the point, right? Add all the tags that you want, go back to your collections here, and now you can see I've got a bunch of fun collections that I can go from, uh, letting me know exactly where I am, and I'm not having to filter through all of my games if you have hundreds or thousands of games for some of you, right? Also, if we go back to our homepage here for our library, you can see I have my collections view as a shelf or a view here on my homepage from my library. In order to do that, here we are on the homepage in our Steam library. If we go to add shelf, which is basically like a display shelf, and then go to the drop down menu here, we can see the different collections here, but we also have a collections view, and that'll just give us a view of all the collections that we've created, or if we want to uh, put a specific collection as a shelf, we would go here and then click on that specific you know, collection and only that collection would show up here. Last thing, just think of these as YouTube playlists. Uh, each one of these shelves will be a playlist for your Steam library. And in order to delete a shelf, you would just click the drop down menu on that shelf and go to delete this shelf. That's it. That is how you create collections and categories for your Steam library. If you have any questions, please put those in the comment section below. If this video helps you out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.